Good morning. You are at Beyond 99 Red Balloons, a pragmatic guide to alternative text. There's two links up there on the slide decks. One's to this presentation, you can follow along with the links, and one to a slide deck with terms and definitions. Given the nature of this talk, there's a lot of images. Most enhance content and don't add any value. And to illustrate the challenges of uh, the lack of alternative text or incomplete alternative text, there's a section of images that I don't describe the first time, and you'll see what I mean later on. My name is Amy June Heinlein. I use the pronouns she and her. I am the open source community ambassador at Canopy Studios, and I'm a hospice nurse by trade, so I understand how some folks can have trouble accessing digital information. Canopy brings me here today. We're hiring. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions. And the last piece of housekeeping is that I am in Northern California presenting this morning, and um, I uh, am on Alone lands. Why do we love images? Images enhance our content, especially for people who live with cognitive or learning disabilities. We include images to support and add to our information and folks who live with low or no vision um, or low vision can use images as cues to help orient themselves on the page. And then social media uses images for conversions. Accessible images not only benefit people who use assistive technology like screen readers or braille devices um, or speech input software, uh, mobile web users benefit because sometimes they have images turned off when they have poor internet connections or if they're data roaming. And then our images become indexable once we add um, text. Web AIM conducted a screen reader survey to determine how and why users use screen readers. 87% uh, use a screen reader because they live with a disability. And of those, 71% rely on the audio alone. So let's look at some different image types. They're simple images. These are images that convey simple information. The alt text for these should be short, sweet, um, and remember that alt text is typically invisible to people who see the image, but are exposed to people who use assistive technology. So it should be short, concise, and to the point, but be mindful to add um, information necessary to convey uh, the message. So this is a headshot, an example of a simple image. Uh, we wanna make sure that we say the name regardless of whether or not it's in the surrounding text. Are they doing something? Are they holding an award? Are they leaning against a tree? Um, but at the same time, you don't want to over describe, but you do want to add that action item. For this image, I would use the following alt text. Um, headshot of Talking Heads lead singer David Byrne in an oversized suit. Complex images are graphs, charts, infographics, diagrams, and they contain too much information to be effectively described using alt text, so we use the long description instead. This is a more detailed description that provides equivalent access to the information, you want to ask yourself, given the current context, what information is the image um, intended to communicate? That same information should be provided to people who can't see the image. It should include any structure necessary to communicate the content of the image, you know, any headings, lists, data tables. And the order of the information is sometimes crucial, so keep that in mind. Here's an infographic of a Descendants concert uh, flyer. It's descendants at the whiskey for five nights. I would go ahead and talk about all the nights that they're playing and then describing the image of Milo um, sitting on a toilet, avoiding a flood, reading the newspaper. Decorative images, they don't convey any meaning. Um, and there's a few different ways you can tell a screen reader to ignore the image. Now, images are decorative when they're styling, like for borders or spacers or corners. But we have to think about things just a little bit. When can you really skip writing alternative text? And truly, there's only two situations where an image can be dis, um, considered decorative. First, the image provides no information or context. It's basically there to enhance the appearance. And then the second is the information in the image is repeated nearby and provides no new information. So it would be redundant of sorts. But these instances are rare. You will almost never have an image that does not need alt text. There's images of text. This is readable text presented within the image. If the image is a logo, 
please avoid this. You know, however, if images of text are used, the alternative uh, text should contain the same words as in the image. And we need to remember that using actual text is much more flexible than using an image. It can be resized without losing clarity or becoming grainy. And then also, actual text, um, your users can modify the background and text colors to suit their reading preference preferences. Uh, this is a logo, which is an example of some uh, images of uh, text. You know, uh, we want to state that it's a logo. We want to use the format organizational name logo. And like any other types of image, your alt text should include all the words in the logo as screen readers can't access that text. Um, if your logo is a link, follow the best practices of for linked images too, and that's to include where the link is going. So for this one is MTV logo, music television, link to MTV website. Groups of, Im groups of images convey a single piece of information and the text alternative for one image should contain the information for the whole group. This is a group of five images and it shows a combined um, product rating. There are five images, you know, four of them are filled in and one of them is partially filled in. The alternative text for the first image would read rating 4.7 out of five stars, and then all of the others would have a null attribute. And just to be clear, I think this album is a five out of five. <laughs> um, image maps, these contain multiple clickable areas. They can be organizational charts, park maps, decision trees. The text alternative for one image, um, for the image that contains these multiple clickable areas should provide an overall context for the whole set of links. And then each individual clickable area should have alt text that describes the purpose or destination of the link. Um, this is a map of Boulder showing where all the record stores are. And then I would, for each clickable area, I would say where it was going. Um, Paradise found uh, records and music website. Some do's and don'ts. Don't begin with image of or picture of. Your content consumers will already know that they're on an image. And lots of time, the assistive technology will announce that it's an image. We don't want to just say the file name. You know, technology will read it. And it's not very helpful, especially in something like screenshot.jpg. Uh, don't be too wordy. Don't rely on artificial int intelligence to write your alt text. They hardly ever get it right. And um, don't use a space when you're talking about just decorative images. You want to use a null, which is, you know, two quotes right, right in a row. But you do want to describe the purpose of the image, location, color, feelings, emotion, who is present, what is present, and anything that's actively happening. Now, WCAG documentation, admittedly, is sort of a one-size-fits-all guideline, but we know that that's not the case. So we just want to keep in mind to be responsive to the context in which the image is found. Because there are times when you want to know that there's a woman walking through a field with balloons, and other times you want other details like a woman walking through a barbed wired field with smoke from explosions in the background with some balloons on the ground, especially in things like news articles or op-eds. So here's some fun examples. Um, what do we think about when we have the alt text um, talking heads? You could think of this image or this one. So let's be a little bit more specific. Two newscasters sitting, on a, sitting at a desk with Channel 4 news screen behind them, or the band members of talking heads wearing colorful yet mismatching patterned outfits. We have the text Rio. There's this Rio or this Rio. Duran Duran's album cover, Rio by artist Patrick Nagel, or the iconic statue of Christ the Redeemer looking over the city of Rio de Janeiro. Dead bug. There's this dead bug or this dead bug. A bug on a leaf carrying a stack of dead bugs on its back or a Volkswagen Beetle with a Grateful Dead logo on its hood. Now, they're both dead bugs, but they're very different. ACDC. There's these two images. We can have the symbols of ACDC, a tilde over a line, DC, a line over a dash symbol, or we could have ACDC back in black album cover. Here's our last one, flock of seagulls. First flock of seagulls, second flock of seagulls. 
We have a flock of seagulls flying against a bright blue sky, or we have the band flock of seagulls posing with 80s styles clothes and, and hairstyles. I just wanna conclude with talking a little bit about social media. Alt text is important for social media images as well. Each platform has its own directions for adding alt text. Um, and it's important because only 53% of people found social media somewhat accessible looking back at that web aim survey. Um, and 16% um, found it, you know, uh, not very accessible at all. And a quick win to bring up those percentages is increasing the accessibility of our images. Um, again, most platforms have a mechanism for adding alt text, but it's not all on, on by default and you kind of have to dig around for it. But a quick search on the internet can usually yield some good results because like I said, most of the time these apps do have accessibility settings. So now what? Work with your team, utilize everyone's skill set. You know, set up style guides and style sheets. Um, ensure that your WYSIWYGs and your editors have tool tips and communicators are trained on how to use them. And perhaps have alternative text as a required field. And remember that accessibility is a moving target. So I wanna thank you. You can find me at Volkswagen Chick across all of the medias. And if you have any questions, I'm going to stick around and be in chat um, and I can answer any questions or point you to any um, links or to additional information if you want. So I want to thank you very much and I appreciate your time and I hope everyone um, got a little bit of something out of this and we see more alt text across our, our media.